was going off. I'm a little kid. Every time I saw an airplane, I, 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 I'd, f- I'd freak out. I thought the Russians were going to drop an atomic bomb. And to show you, and then when we were in high school and you couldn't um, go under a desk anymore, they put us up against the wall with our hands beyond our heads and said things like, and if you see a flash, don't look at it. Like if an atomic bomb went off. If I see a flash, I'll be dust in seconds. These are the same moronic criminals of a different order. You stand six feet apart because the wind blows in exactly six feet in straight lines and you won't get COVID. Yeah. Oh, and then you're in an airplane. You better put on that mask or we'll throw you the hell off. But when you're eating and drinking... You can take your mask off because COVID knows when you're eating and drinking. And when you're in a restaurant, you walk in with that mask. But when you sit down, you can eat without the mask on because COVID knows that you're sitting down at that level and doesn't bother you. These are the same stupid bastards and bitches to be equal that had us hiding under a desk in case an atom bomb went off. Like, that's going to make a difference. You obey us. If you don't obey us, you believe in misinformation. And that's the same thing going on now. I came to tears when you started talking about what we, what I had forecast back in the beginning of the year of a Middle East meltdown. People better get this in their head. We got a war going on in Iraq, in, in excuse me, Ukraine fighting the Russians. No, it's not a proxy war. We're at war. Hey, Daniela, give me some guns and a grenade. I want to go blow the guy's brains out next door. Are you an accessory to the crime? Oh, and now when the Middle East is blowing up. Oh, and now our new chief of staff, as the United States is sending military equipped ships, the big aircraft carries, a whole military shipload of ships out to off the coast of Israel, sending more weapons. He warns, you Iranians better not get involved in this. What the hell are we doing over there? That's why we could go anywhere we want. We can kill anybody we want in any country. You like the Afghan war? Oh, no, I grew up during the Vietnam war. You got a bunch of maniacs in charge from hiding under a desk to the COVID war to these wars. Not a peep about peace. And, of course, I launched Occupy Peace. And I'm a warrior for the Prince of Peace. So you're not allowed to talk about peace. You're only allowed to swallow the crap. Why those, again, we go into now what just happened. You read the Trends Journal, you get it. Week after week after week after week after week since the Netanyahu government's got in here that they call far-right extremists, day after day, they're slaughtering, uh, uh, making the lives of the Palestinians totally disgusting. And again, all the facts are there, and I want to make this clear. Do not call me an anti-Semite. Just like I'm not an anti-American for not wanting wars, I write about facts. And to make it clear, to make it really clear, three of my last four girlfriends were Jewish. So take it easy. So, going back to your Trends Journal, week after week, we remind Trends Journal subscribers that in the 1967 Six-Day War, Israel invaded and seized Palestinian territories of the West Bank, East Jerusalem, Gaza Strip, and the Syrian Golan Heights, expelling 300,000 Palestinians from their home while gaining stolen territory that was three and a half times its original size. To date, some 670,000 Israelis live in occupied West Bank. Oh, occupied West Bank? You mean you invaded this place and took it over? Oh, no, why, that's fine. How dare you say we shouldn't do it? 
I know, Moses came down, he, I think it was the, one of the five, 15 commandments, he dropped that, the five that said you could take any land that you want. Don't want to hear this stuff. And again, we only put the facts in. And the facts are that Israeli settlements are illegal under international law. They violate Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention of 1949, which states... The occupying power shall not deport or transfer parts of its own civilian population into the territory it occupies. And I could go on. You could go to the UN, their, their, their condemnation. Here, this just came out. Reuters, UN says civilian seizures prohibited as Israel strikes Gaza. The UN Humanitarian Office said on Tuesday, October 10th, that nearly 200,000 people, or nearly a tenth of the population, have fled their homes in Gaza since the start of hostilities, and they are poised for shortages of water and electricity due to the blockade. Israeli air operations have struck residential buildings, including large tower blocks, as well as schools and UN buildings across Gaza, resulting in civilian casualties, the United Nations Human Rights Chief said. And it goes on. So this is terrible. And again, Gaza's been occupied and taken over by Israel, what, since 2007? You can't get in, you can't get out. It's an open concentration camp. So look what's going on over there. No talk about peace. And my fear is World War III has already begun and these maniacs in charge as the... Oh, oh, don't believe me. Go to the Wall Street Journal on October 10th. Go to the second section. Oh, the top story about how shipping costs are down 90% from 2022, because such less shipments of goods is floating out of Asia into Europe and America. Do you hear it? When, as I said, when all else fails, they take you to war. The Judicial Reform Act that Netanyahu was pushing through was a total failure 